Greece is back. The troubled country has issued its first longer term bond this morning for four years. And Katie Martin is here to tell us all about it. Katie, fill us in on the details first. Yeah, Greek bonds, don't know if you remember, almost brought the entire financial system right. to the knees. I think we remember Awful, that. toxic, dreadful things. Well, they're back, as you say, and the deal has gone swimmingly for Greece. We, it's come in at a yield of 4.95%, so a nice price tag for the borrower. It was marketed at just over five, and so coming under that kind of round number is kind of a psychological... Yeah boost for them. Um, they've got 20 billion euros worth of demand and they're only selling 3 billion, so right. massively overbid from, we're told, 550 separate accounts. Uh, so, you know, Greece was never going to go ahead and do this deal unless it could be pretty sure that it would go swimmingly. Remember, they've got a visit from Ms. Merkel tomorrow, entirely coincidentally, I'm sure. So right. this is a nice way for them to be able to say, we've done our homework, see how we've rehabilitated, rehabilitated ourselves, see how we can raise funds again on the capital markets. Um, so it's a nice result for them. Does this mean though that the Greek economy is back and does it mean further that well, we can say the Eurozone crisis is finally laid to rest. No, no. Right. <laughs> um, there's still plenty of very sensible investors out there who are saying, I'm not going to touch this stuff. The ratings are awful. Greece has still got some serious problems. We had some data out today that said unemployment in January is running at 27%. The Greek economy is not fixed. We've had strikes. We had a car bomb this morning outside the Bank of Greece. There's plenty of reasons not to like Greece. So no, the whole thing isn't over. But nonetheless, this is a sign of confidence. We've had, we've had many. And, and you know, bear in mind, right, it's, the yields have come in just under 5%. Italian yields of the same maturity are around 1.67. Yeah. So you're so still getting still a, quite a gap. you're still getting a big pickup for Greece. There's still yes. a lot of risk there. And a five-year bond from Germany or the U.S. What would that yield right uh, at the moment? Best part of nothing, right? right. You know, th yeah. there's, there's there's still a big gap there. Um, and to an extent, Greece has been swept up by the kind of wall of money thing. There's still yeah. a lot of funds out there looking say, for somewhere to go, right? And that's why you get 20 billion euros of demand for a three billion issue. Yes, exactly. So so it's partly a kind of Greece rehabilita rehabilitation story and it's partly a wall of money story and, and this isn't all about Greece being mended by any stretch of the imagination. It's still a country that's pretty reliant on people like the IMF and other groups for funding as well, right? I mean this pretty much, it, it's three billion euros but that's not that's only a small amount of what Greece needs for its funding, right? Yeah, and, and bear in mind it's been issuing T-bills for right. ages, you know, okay. for, for the past few years, um, with a much shorter maturity, sure, but it, it does have other sources of funding. But this is a kind, this is symbolic. Yeah, absolutely. Is it going to end in tears? <laughs> uh, are we making a big mistake here, rushing back into Greek bonds? Look, it's one of these things that depends on your viewpoint. You can certainly put forward an argument that the euro crisis is just asleep and that when it comes back, Greece is going to be first in the line of fire. Absolutely. But the risk of default does seem to be significantly diminished. Okay. Fingers crossed. Thanks very much, Katie.